Welcome to a demonstration and walkthrough of automation analytics. The Red Hat Ansible automation platform includes automation analytics as part of the subscription. Automation analytics will help organizations measure their automation success. In this demonstration, we will showcase four key features, the intuitive automation analytics dashboard, health notifications and how they can keep you informed, comparing different organizations across your enterprise with organization statistics, and finally, how to evaluate your savings with an automation calculator. Automation analytics, as well as all Red Hat hosted services, can be found on cloud.redhat.com. Log in with your Red Hat account. If you do not have one, you can easily create one and get it mapped to your organization's account. Clicking on the automation analytics link will default to the analytics dashboard. The analytics or clusters dashboard displays the most used Ansible playbooks, modules, and deployment pass fail rates. Use filters to view information by time period or individual cluster. Drill down into your data for more details on successful or failed jobs. The top templates card refers to the most used job templates across all Ansible Tower clusters. Clicking a job template will bring up additional data. In this example job template, we can see that there has been 52 runs, which is how many times this job template has been executed across all Ansible automation clusters. In this example job template, we're only getting an 81% success rate. We can use this information to concentrate effort on fixing issues where we have highly used job templates that have lower success rates. It also allows us to quickly see which task is causing the most issues. The top modules card will display the most used modules across all Ansible Tower clusters. This data includes the usage, which is the amount of tasks using this module that have been executed. Use organization statistics to view how groups within the organization consume and use automation across your enterprise. You can filter by the top five and bottom five organizations, and you can also toggle individual organizations, which will be reflected in the bar graph. Job runs by organization refers to the total amount of job templates executed by an organization. Usage by organization, tasks, refers to the individual tasks within a job template. The automation calculator provides graphs, metrics, and calculations that help you determine the total savings on your investment in automated processes. Costs are broken down by job template and compared to all other job templates in a customizable chart. The calculation for cost savings is fully customizable. The manual cost of automation refers to how much money per hour it would take to do these processes manually. The automated process cost refers to how much it costs your organization to do the same with automation. Health notifications are an important part of the automation analytics offering. These notifications take the aggregated data and provide valuable context around your deployments, providing you quick, succinct takeaways on your deployed clusters. These notifications include when a node within a cluster is down, when an Ansible cluster is approaching license expiry or license capacity, when there's too many pending jobs in a particular cluster, when an Ansible tower version is too close to end of life, and when jobs are in error state. When relevant, a notification will provide a link directly to the cluster so you can quickly address any problems. Thank you for watching. For more information on automation analytics, please visit ansible.com.